Okay guys, so today is going to be a very short one. I'm going to show you how you can create dummy content in WordPress. And this method will allow you to create sample posts, pages, and even products if you have WooCommerce installed. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So let me show you we have no products at the moment. So this is empty. We have only the WooCommerce pages at the moment and we have no post as well. So this is altogether a fresh new installation. So now let's create a few dummy content. So for this, we're going to go to plugins, add new. And here you're going to search for Baker Press, just like this. There it is. So now we install this, we activate it, and now we're ready to roll. So now we go to Faker Press here. And as you can see, I have post, comments, terms, user, etc., etc. So we're going to create new posts. So even product and pages are considered posts in this uh, instance. So let's click on post. And there you go. Now we can start creating our dummy content. So the first option, obviously, is the quantity. So it could say, for instance, 15. But you can also let the plugin decide how many you want and generate a random number. So if you were to put 15 here and 50 in this one, one time you might get 37 posts, maybe 42 the next time, or maybe 17. So it will be generated randomly. And then you can assign a date to your post pages or product as well when it was created. So as you can see by default is yesterday, but you can select tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, the last 15 days or the next 15 days as well. So if you were to select the last 15 days, again, it will select a random date uh, in the past two weeks. And then you can select the post type, as you can see by default is a post, but you can select something else. Perhaps you want to create pages or products, like we said, for WooCommerce, okay? So let's start with post, for instance. And then you can select if you want to allow comments or not. And then you have the post content. So this is basically what will be inserted as dummy content. So as you can see here, you have all the HTML tags from H1 to H6, you have bullet points, you have divs, paragraphs, block quote, images, and so on. So you can decide whether or not you want to sh show them all, or maybe select just a few. Maybe you want H1, maybe H3, you don't want uh, those. Maybe you don't need bullet points, or maybe you need them. Maybe you don't want to test divs, you keep paragraphs and block quotes, images, and maybe you don't need those two here altogether. So let's keep it simple, okay? And then you can select where you want your images to be taken from. So you can see a placehold.it and Lorem Pixum, which is basically very uh, popular ones. And then you can test your taxonomy field rules as well. As you can see, we have tags and categories, but you can select product categories, product tags, product shipping classes, so if you're using WooCommerce, you can test this on your product page as well. Very handy indeed. And then you have the same option here with the meta field rules. So once you have this done, all you have to do is to click generate. And that's basically it. And there you go. As you can see, it faked 15 posts. And these are the post ID. Now, if you go into our post page, I'm going to open this in a new tab. And there you go. As you can see, it created 15 posts for us very nicely. And you can actually look at them on in the front end if you wanted to. So let's have a quick look at this one. Open this in the front end see what it looks like and there you go as you can see of the h1 we have the content we have an image so all of this is created for us effortlessly with just one click of the mouse so that's very handy isn't it and now that we're back on our page here let's reuse the same settings but this time we're going to create instead of post we're going to create pages okay scroll down the page and let's do the same thing again. Let's generate. And there you go. As you can see, we've got a confirmation here. 15 of them were created. So this time is pages. So let's open the pages in a new tab. And there you go. These are all our pages. They were added nicely here. And let's have a quick look. Let's open this in the front end. And again, as you can see, I have all the tags here on top, the title, an image, and some content as well. And all of this, again, created effortlessly in just one click of the mouse. And now we're back here. Let's do the same with products. So let's delete this one and let's select products instead. Scroll down the page and let's generate. And there you go. As you can see, you've got confirmation again. And this time, these are products. So let's open this in a new tab. There you go. As you can see, these are WooCommerce products. And let's have a quick preview. So let's have a quick look. And here's our product page. You can see title, the price, previous price, quantity, add to cart, and so on. And the description with images, H1 tags, and so on, and so on. So again, that's been created for us effortlessly with just one click of the mouse. Now, do you know what's the easiest way to make money as a web designer? And I give you a clue. It's not by designing websites. Well, if you ever want to find out, you can watch this video here. 